Hello, dear listener. Uh, this is Amos, and I've got a quick question for you. We would like to know how many people are actually watching the video version of this podcast. We are looking at ways to streamli- streamline our process, and the video component, the video podcast component in particular, takes up a considerable amount of our post processing time, and we're beginning to wonder if it's actually worth it. So, this is a little early for a call to action on a podcast, but if you consume this podcast by video only and limiting your podcast experience to only audio would have a drastic effect on the amount of the podcast you listen to, please email us podcast at ritualmisery.com and let us know what your use case scenario is. And maybe we can continue the video, but tailor it more to those who are actually paying attention to it and not just blast it out there hoping somebody gets a chance to see it. So again, that's podcast at ritualmisery.com and let us know that you want us to continue the video version of this podcast. Thank you. Now, on with the show. Oh, live on the Ritual Misery podcast. Can't fuck something else up. This time on the Ritual Misery podcast, Kent fucks things up. Oh, what the fuck? I was totally expecting the music to start. Instead, I heard uh, a bottle cap. I, no, I was I, I was reaching for it for the for the to hit the music, and I I I've, I'm I'm, all, I'm holding dice in my hands, like glow in the dark dice, and I went to put them down. I don't know why I picked them up, but I went to put them down. And when I went to put them down, one of them flew out of my hand. Of course, because I dropped it because I got <laughs> nerve issues that the doctors don't want to admit to. Um, and it hit my my coffee cup and bounced on the floor. So. Yeah, that, that's uh, what happened there. Wonderful. Not nearly as exciting as, I don't know, can't fucking things up. Uh, hello, and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast. There's Kent. Oh my gosh, I finally got his video fixed. Holy shit. Um, this, is, uh, this is the Ritual Misery Podcast, as I just said. I'm going to go ahead and say it again in case you didn't hear me the first two times. This is the Ritual Misery Podcast. Podcast episode 169. Kent, you got something to say about that? Nice. (laughs) Oh, for Thursday, the 12th of April, 2018. Uh, This is the show where two lifelong friends, and when we have guests, they come along and we all celebrate all things geek. Uh, It's a bit of a different show this time. So I'm Amos. That's Kent. Kent, say hello. Hello. Oh, I expect you to actually say something else, but. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, at least you're good at following orders. Um, we had the Lienzo people lined up for tonight, and that didn't work out for them or us. And uh, so we're going to reschedule them for a couple weeks from now, I think. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, yeah. it's just exactly. us, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kicking it old school. Yeah. Talk, uh, talking the to... second time in three weeks, I think. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. No, that's awesome. Uh, it's, no, this is cool. It's not it's normal. Fun. It's not normal. Uh, <laughs> Man, God, it's been a hell of a week, dude. Yeah. So do you remember years and years ago in Saudi Arabia when you would be there in the summer and you would get a nice cool breeze? Uh, a chemo for it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so there's no such thing as a cool breeze in Saudi Arabia in mm-hmm. the summertime. Uh, basically feels like you're you're standing in front of an oven with a fan blowing on you. Right, uh, a.k.a. Texas in the middle of summer. Uh, yeah, or or southern New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we've been having the last couple of days. And oh yeah, it is fucking awful. Yeah. Um. Uh, you you gave me a, a visual aid in which to help uh, people understand those those that are watching. I'm going to go ahead and cut to this real quick and uh, let the people that are watching this live on uh, Twitch TV slash Ritual Misery exactly what it is that you felt you were looking at all week long. So can yeah, you go ahead and describe this real quick? Yeah, so the, the, this is just a this is a picture of a um, a, a tumbleweed oh, blowing across the highway. This was my drive home from work today. <laughs> this this was <laughs> like literally every ten seconds, I was either hitting the brakes or weaving in and out of lanes trying to avoid these fucking things. You know what blowing. I love about this? In this picture, you have two things to look forward to. Off in the distance are more piles of dirt. <laughs> and there's a road, so you came from somewhere. 
Yeah. That's, yeah. uh, yeah, that's, that's not, that's not, that, that, no bueno, no bueno. Yeah. What, what, so what have the temps been like down there, man? Uh, we've been getting like high 80s this weekend was, uh, or this past weekend was like uh, low 90s, I think. I think we hit 93. Uh, no, no thank you. No thank you. We've been hitting the upper 40s and it's been glorious. Ugh, it's been t-shirt weather. T-shirt weather. See, the upper 40s, dude, is like, that's the, the cold fucking January chill here. <laughs> that's That's the worst shit oh no it's it's been nice uh so we're going through um speaking of weather we're going through the breakup right now it's where you know the snow and the ice are starting to melt and it's basically it's either wet or dirty everywhere because it's either the gravel they've been throwing on the on the ice all winter long is now free or Mm -hmm. it's the snow is melting so it's just soaking wet everywhere yeah nasty muddy um and we have uh, we we have record highs in Lake Lemos in my backyard. I know I mentioned last year how it floods. Yeah. So this year it got a little bit more serious. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show this. And Kent, why don't you tell people what you're looking at here? Oh my gosh! So I see the back of a beautiful home, mm-hmm. uh, but in the immediate foreground is uh, uh, looks kind of like a sewage pond. It's it's not. It's it's actually clean water, but it's all runoff because our our yard is the low yard for like the the five houses around us. Um, it's up. It, it was up over a foot, well over a foot. It was it was deep enough that I couldn't take my my galoshes or whatever out there. Um, and my neighbor was so kind as to put a sign out there in case anybody wanted to go swimming, little sign that says warning, no lifeguard on duty. That's what I came home to today. So <laughs> very nice. That's, that's good information to have. Yeah, no, it's it, cause lifeguards are fucking expensive. So I can't, uh, I can't afford to, um, we, we, uh, as a neighborhood, we were talking about stocking it with minnows and then letting the kids go fishing out there off my deck. <laughs> It's not sure how that would work out. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. So that's uh, that's that's our weather our our weather outlook for the next I don't know how long. Uh, Semi frozen water in the backyard. Yay. Uh, so what you said about putting minnows in in there, um, like artificially transplanting them, mm-hmm. uh, reminds me of something that that happened to me when I was a kid. We we used to have a um, uh, like a little you know those little kiddie pools, mm-hmm. little like like a little wading pool or whatever. We had one of those when I was a kid. Like the, and, the plastic Kmart kind, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. probably cost like three dollars and twenty five cents or something. Right, which which is like eighty five dollars according to twenty eighteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> well, one day I thought that life had spontaneously formed in my kiddie pool. It was it was one day after a rainstorm. I went outside in the backyard, and of course the the kiddie pool had filled up from the rain. And I saw a fish in there. I thought they either just spawned spontaneously or they fell from the sky with the rain. Like the hand of God came down and just brought life to your wading pool. Yes. I mean, that's how that works, right? <laughs> you know, magic God makes yeah. magic life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, turns out that it was uh, a frog had laid some eggs. Right. Yeah. 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 It's, that's that pool's hatched. And, uh, yeah, but I if you would have asked like seven year old me, I would have sworn that fish had just spontaneously formed. <laughs> we used to get uh rainstorms in, in California, which it was always weird to me because we'd get these rainstorms and they'd be it'd be wet for like four or five days. Mm. And so it'd be puddly, you know, there'd be puddles everywhere because there's a lot of places that didn't have gra- grass. You know, we're in the middle of the damn desert, right? Right. So you'd have all these puddles and in, in uh in, in Palmdale, California is not known for its rich soil. It's just hard cake dirt, like like dinosaurs, yep. like tread upon that in a highway a millennia ago, right? Um, well, we would we there there were no wetlands anywhere near us, but somehow we would have tadpoles or tadpoles in all of our little puddles everywhere. Yeah, I never saw a frog. <laughs> But I sure as hell know it. Plague of invisible frogs. Apparently, yeah. And and the thing was, like the the pools, the puddles would hang around just long enough for them to hatch, and they'd be like swimming around. And then the next day you'd come home and you just have like this big collection of dead tadpoles in your backyard. Like, what the hell's this? Um, Uh, So yeah, that was never that was never 
not a not a great great memory in my in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is how life goes. Oh, that's how it ends. <laughs> the circle of life. Never. Right. Don't, and then, don't have me. And then the flies would come in and they would uh, do their business, and it was just like, oh man, like we didn't even have dog, and I was still burying shit in the backyard. Like it, was, it pissed me <laughs> off so bad. Um, okay, so uh, th- that's that's our weather update uh, for the Alaska, the new Alaska, uh, new, the, <laughs> the new Alaska. Uh, uh, Colorado's probably no, no. Our midpoint's more like Juneau because this state is so fucked up. But oh yeah, it's gigantic. Yeah, yeah, it's stupid. It's got like this one turd hanging off the side, and that's what the capital is. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, I, WrestleMania was Sunday. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, we you should have you should have told me I would have uh, ignored it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so we had our annual tradition of watching WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, we got the free thirty day trial of the WWE Network because we only watch wrestling a few times a year now. Mm. And uh, we've got enough people with enough email addresses in this house and credit cards <laughs> that we could just kind of rotate through the free trials. Mm. By the time you make it all the way around through the circle, the, everybody the, they've already forgotten the first one that you use, so you just keep going? No, it seems yeah, legit. they actually, I, I think you could use the free trial about once a year. Mm. And I, I just used mine in January for um, uh, uh, the Royal Rumble. Mm. So mine was no good. It was like, no, you don't qualify. <laughs> Next. All right, Steph, you're up. <laughs> uh, no, but it was cool. It was. It, it's always a good time. We always play a a, a, a game like trying to, to pick the winners. Uh, Isaac ended up winning this year. I got second place. Uh, but that's always a good time. Uh, probably the most notable thing of the show was Ronda Rousey made her in-ring debut for WWE. And uh, that was quite entertaining. She beat the holy shit out of Stephanie McMahon, and it was wonderful. Oh, that was actually this weekend. Yeah. Oh, I saw a video of that on the old YouTubes when I was just browsing around one time. I did, I thought that was from like a long time ago. I didn't know that was like this weekend. Yeah, well, there was an encounter with Stephanie like, uh, I don't know, uh, six months or a year ago, like quite a while ago, where they were starting to bring her into the, the promotion And uh, it's kind of been a a, a weird thing because WWE does this weird thing where they they have like a superiority complex. So whenever they bring in a superstar from something else, either like a a different wrestling promotion or UFC or whatever, they do their best to bury that person. Right. You know, just make them look like a piece of crap. You you come in as a heel and then you have to fight your way into a face. Uh, kind of, yeah, but it, even more so than, than, um, like heel versus baby face, it's, it's more of a, a like weak versus strong and WWE is always strong, mm. right? So they f- pretty much for the last year have kind of made Rhonda, uh, not appear strong, like, you know, putting her in positions that, um, just are not favorable for mm. her. Right. So this was kind of the, I guess the comeuppance, right? So they, they actually allowed her to showcase what she could do. And now, obviously, you know, this is this is uh, like choreographed fighting. It's not, it's w- not real. It's WWE. Right. But it, <laughs> it was it, it was satisfying. Yeah. Is, it, uh, is, watch- it, is this where she was up there? Uh, like the rock was up there with Stephanie and Triple H and then uh, she that comes was, out. That was that was. A long, OK, yeah, that's, that was, that's the one I saw. OK, so I didn't see uh, the new one then. Yeah, yeah, she made Stephanie tap in glorious fashion. <laughs> Pretty great. <laughs> was it armbar? It was because that was her move in, in MMA. Yes, so. of course. <laughs> <laughs> the infamous armbar. Um, well, that's cool. Uh, any anything else happened during WrestleMania that uh, that I might give a shit about? Uh, Other than not. the credits at the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. Um, Undertaker came back, uh, beat the holy hell out of uh john cena for like two minutes and then uh yeah that was that i don't know <laughs> no ronda rousey was probably the highlight mm. Mm. um okay so uh so what else did you watch on tv this week uh yeah so uh, do you watch better call saul i know mm. you were a big fan of breaking, breaking bad. bad yeah and no, i haven't i haven't watched any better call saul oh dude <laughs> dude 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 this show just gets better and better as it goes. I am about to finish season two. Mm. Season three just came out on Netflix about a week ago, I think, mm. maybe two weeks ago now. And Lucas has 
you know, he's been, he's been watching it since it came on Netflix. So he, he's caught up. He's ready to start season three. Mm-hmm. And I'm almost to that point now so that we can start watching season three together. And man, it, it God, it is so good. <laughs> if, if you are a fan of Breaking Bad, you have to watch Better Call Saul. Like, it is <laughs> so good. Mm. Um, I just heard that The Expanse is about to start season three, and I didn't realize that season two had ended. Uh, so I hadn't even watched season two. Season one was amazing. So I have an entire season of a TV show to catch up on in in kind of a hurried fashion because I want to watch. I wanna, apparently, it's getting even better as it goes along. And it started out amazing. So um, that's that's my TV watching experience. There isn't any. I just need to watch some. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, there was something that I did watch this weekend, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, the actual full trailer for Solo. And thoughts? This, um, hmm. Okay, f- uh, first of all, I didn't realize Natalie Dormer was in it. Uh, no, not, 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 so. not Natalie Dormer. Um, oh, what the hell's her name? Oh, yeah, you're talking about uh, Daenerys. Daenerys, Targaryen. yeah. Yep. Um, yep. Her name is escaping me right now too. Exactly. Uh, I didn't realize she was in it. So that's, that's a good thing. This is the first time I've been excited to watch this movie. Yeah. Like I'm, I've been excited from the beginning just because it's star Wars and just, yes, yes, please give me more. Star right. Wars. Right. Uh, but I mean, other than the obligatory, Oh yes, I'm going to watch it because it's star Wars. This is the first time that it's, it's gone above the, the star Wars bar. Yes. Yeah. Same. Same because uh, this, this the, the previous, be- yeah, the previous two, the the little the teaser after uh, during the Super Bowl, it didn't give me enough to really tell me anything. I was like, okay, well, okay, there's characters, okay, got it. And then <laughs> the little mini trailer that they ha- they gave out a while back, like I guess the next day or whatever, it was okay, but it just it didn't get me excited. Right. This is the first time that the trailer was actually com- composed and and cut in a way that made me like, oh, yeah, I want to watch that movie. That's something that I want to go do. Not that I feel yeah. obligated to, or not that I want to do for, for completionist's sake, but I actually want to go watch it. Yeah, it uh, shows a little bit of the story, a little bit of the, the what we can expect as the feel of the movie. kind of feels like a, like a Western adventure sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, plus, one of the things that was unexpected that got me a little bit excited was that uh, there's another Wookiee in there. Yeah, Did yeah. It's the Wookiee. Yep. I, I already heard rumors about it, though, so it wasn't a surprise to me. Yeah, but. see, I'd, like, I will watch the trailers a million times and pick mm-hmm. out all the little details, but I never read, like, spoilery news. Like, I never, like, oh, the, the what to expect in the upcoming trailer. Like, I never read any of those things. Right, no, I, I, I heard about it in, like, offhand conversation. Mm. I was like, I was, yeah. I was consuming some other media, and it got mentioned uh, gotcha. on the passerby and um yeah so i was like okay that, that's cool um i i always forget how much i enjoy um woody harrelson until i see woody harrelson on screen like i, yeah. I you you say his name I'm like yeah 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 whatever 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 and then as soon as he comes on the screen i'm like oh that's the guy and he's playing the same <laughs> dude he always plays that's that's awesome all right cool yeah i dig it i dig it um yeah, so I, I just overall, I got I got good vibes from it. I've seen it like three times, so yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I think I watched it three times in the first ten minutes that it was out. Mm, mm. Uh, actually, that's not true because <laughs> I, I we waited until WrestleMania ended because it came out on Sunday. Oh, evening. So as Pri- soon as WrestleMania was over, I watched it like three or four times. I think prioritize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so what what else you got going on? Uh, other big news besides the solo, the weekend after solo, I will be flying to South Carolina. Um, I think it's the weekend after. Yeah. Pretty okay. Sure it's weekend after, uh, I'll be flying down to South Carolina and going to watch my daughter graduate. And then we are going to go to Walt well, Disney world for 10, for five, six, I don't know, for, for a bunch of days. And all of that came through this week. Our tickets arrived. We got airline tickets cause the stupid Alaskan airlines was having us having like a half price special. So Alaskan Airlines, get this: they, if you if you apply for their credit card, and you're a mem- you're a mileage member, once a year they will give you a free companion fare where all you have to do is pay for uh, taxes. It's a round trip ticket. 
as long as it's on Alaskan Airlines. So we're flying to Atlanta on Alaskan Airlines. So not only was it like a half price sale for a one day half price sale, like three days after our tax return came in, but we also got the companion fare. So half our people flew for free. That's amazing. So we had to buy, like, it was like, we have to buy tonight. And yeah, it was still expensive as shit, of course. But um, yeah, we got all that lined up and holy crap, it was amazing. Everything's lined up. We have, I think the rental car, because we're going to get a, a, a big ass, like 12 pack van and drive to do all the driving, you know? Yeah. Um, I think that's the only thing, only piece we don't have already uh, accomplished and, and paid for. So it, it's one of those things like this is a major purchase, right? We're, we're spending like $10,000 on this trip. Like this is our big family. Like we've been saving up and shit like that. We've yeah. been saving. This is, this is it. This is our one time we're actually going to go and do this. Right. Um, but while you're, while you're doing all these, this planning, even for a small trip, you're doing the planning, 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 and you start getting nervous. Cause like, what if the plans start falling through? What if the mm. airfare skyrockets and now you can't afford it? Or now what if the, everything has just been coming together and we finally basically have everything paid for. So now I can actually like relax. And I got to tell you, um, Tuesday night after we bought the tickets and everything else, I got like the best sleep I've gotten in a long time. Because I didn't have this huge trip that I'm responsible for planning out and paying for looming large. Like, I don't know how long it's been since I went to bed and wasn't thinking, oh, we got to buy tickets soon, you know? Right. So, right. yeah, just awesome. Uh, pretty much the entire trip overall is going to cost us like half price of what it no- would normally cost a family of 10 to go to Disney World for a week. Yeah. Wow. So. Well, that's 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 good that um, uh, you shop, you time your things, mm. you... Uh, look for deals like that's that's huge man especially when you have a family that big and you got to plan something yeah. huge like that that's that's great well we, we had a little bit of luck too because not only do the military tickets are they're basically half price for everybody involved um it comes at a time when my wife is also on active duty orders so she qualifies to get the half price tickets uh you're only allowed six per person well we only needed 10 so that just you know conveniently fit in uh we called up shades of green which is the military resort on walt disney world and they just happen to have vacancy for two rooms. They're two of their largest rooms that we needed just opened up right before we called and made the reservation for the week we needed it. You know, uh, our, 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 our tax return comes in literally three days before Alaska has the Alaska airlines has this unannounced half price sale. Like everything just kind of fell into place for everything we've been doing. It's, it's been amazing. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's great. You're, uh, you're, you're just jealous that I get to go and be miserable for a week with my family and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am a little bit jealous. I, I have not yet been to a Disney park. and uh, Really? You, like have, never? Never. You were stationed in Florida and you never went to Disney World? Um, yeah, I was stationed like basically in Alabama, not near anywhere near Orlando. <laughs> Still, like I'm flying into Atlanta and driving down to Orlando. So, Right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. You... You're a better man than me. That's all I got to say. <laughs> or, or stupider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. You choose the adjective. Uh, oh my gosh, dude. Um, no, that's great. That's, um, it, it sounds like you're getting a good deal. Um, and that's always important. If any of our members of the audience would like to get a good deal, they should head over to patreon.com slash ritual misery. What's there? There is um, stuff for our show, like pre-shows and post-shows and old stuff from the vault that like happened way, way before we ever even heard of a podcast. Uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> no, no, there really is like be- way before podcasting, back from '96. Yeah, I think so, dude. That there's '96 or '97, like super, super, yeah. super long time. Patrons only can see that too. Yep. There's so. uh there's special interview shows. There's uh, uh early access to some stuff. There's uh all kinds of stuff some, over there. And some you, uncut stuff, yeah. Yep, you get access to the Discord, like special channels just for patrons. Um yeah, check it out. It's patreon.com slash ritual misery. Yeah. Um there is uh there's there's some other things we need to take care of this week. Now we, we don't have a guest, so we don't have like a long show. This isn't gonna be an inordinately long show tonight. Um, mm. We have a few other things we're going to talk about, but one thing that I want to mention, and this is the first time, so I'm I'm screwing it up because I had it open and I don't know where I put it. Um, 
Let me, let me look over here. Speaking of Discord. <laughs> so, yeah. So, well, let, let, let me let me preempt th- this okay. segment by by saying that. Uh, so uh, we like going to see movies. Right. And uh, Lucas and I, uh, in particular, like going to see movies and talking about them and things like that. And I also have a brand spanking new movie pass in my wallet that I have not tried out yet. So I think I'm going to do that this weekend. Lucas and I are wanting to go see a uh, quiet place. Ah, yes, you should. You should definitely see a quiet place. I've heard really good things about a quiet place, which I've heard amazing things about a quiet place. <laughs> and it just so happens that there's a reason that we care, especially about this movie. Ah, and yeah. That was enough of a segue. Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute presented by DiamondClub.tv for the week of April 9th, 2018. I'm your host, Big Voice Jay. I love the smell of buttered popcorn in the morning. Where did I sleep last night? Let's go to the scoreboard. Teens walking drunk, have a drink, and the VOD squad are all waiting for their first movie. Team movie parties in third place with blockers, making $24.3 million. Team Ritual Miseries in second place with a quiet place making $59.7 million. And with Ready Player One crossing under nine figures, Team Game Night is in first place with $100.4 million. That's your Movie Draft Minute for the week of April 9th, 2018. Okay, so we were talking uh, uh, about the movie draft. Yeah, yeah. I was mentioning how... uh, a Quiet Place got a lot of good buzz mm. that is the uh, helping the movie out. So we're actually we're genuinely looking forward to watching the movie, but also give a couple more dollars in our in our coffers for the movie draft. Well, right before the movie draft, I'd heard that it had uh, it, it got some good ratings and some good press at like South by I think it was, and that's why this is one of the movies we talked about before before right like right before we did the. The draft was like, hey, I think this movie right here, we might want to bump that up a little bit. So when it yep. came almost last, I was like, yes, let's get make sure we get this one. Yeah, and so only three movies have come out yet for for the our version of the draft. Right. And, and so you know, so we don't have a whole lot to compare it with so far, but we definitely by far have the best buy, the best value buy. Mm-hmm. Uh, four million dollars per. Yes, yeah, so we bought. Yeah, for like four and a half million per uh, per uh, game dollar, I guess is how that works. Because <laughs> we we paid what did we pay? We paid fourteen game dollars for the movie, and um, uh, yeah, it's already it's already earned over sixty million dollars. I think at the time of the um, uh, Jay's voiceover, it was at fifty nine million. Mm. It's now over sixty three million. Yeah, that's awesome. That's um, it's pretty ridiculous, actually. I'm really happy with that. I can't get the chat to pop back up for whatever reason. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so that's uh, that's 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 what we do. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's how you restart a show after after a intermittent computer problem. Uh, you know, when it just decides to crap out on you. Now, you've got um, one thing on here that we want to talk about before we go, but I got something I have to say. Okay. Um, so we have a, a, at least one grill in our chat. Um, let's see here. There's a grill, and there's a grill, and there's another grill. Um, so we have uh, a, a three grills, and uh, they, they, they're, they're hosts of a podcast called The Geek Grills. It's a podcast uh, hosted by three women, so it's like the opposite of this show, uh, where it actually makes sense, and they talk about things that people care about. <laughs> um, and uh, they talk about a wide variety of, co- of topics, because you can pretty much geek out about anything, and they do a lot of what we do, except they do it way better. And uh, the, you can check them out live on Tuesday evenings at twitch.tv slash geekgrills at 4 p.m. Pacific, seven th- or 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern. Or anytime using your podcatcher, of course, or at geekgrills.com. And uh, they got the Twitter and the Patreon and all that kind of stuff. They're awesome. They just they just hit their affiliate follower goal today. Awesome. 
today, in fact. So yeah, because they they just debuted their their channel because they were going off one of the grills personal channels for mm-hmm. the long time, and they just like I don't uh, nine of twelve. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been less than a month since you lo- launched the official Geek Grills channel. Yeah, it, so that was that's great. That's uh, that's record time for for at least for our peers. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, they, they, they have had me on the show. I will, uh, 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 you know, full disclosure, I did go on the show and ruin it once. So <laughs> if you find that episode, uh, skip that one and listen to the other episodes because uh, they're a lot better than when I was on because uh, cause I, I brought my stank. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, okay, so you br- you brought your the Ritual Misery brand of self-deprecation, uh, but it was a great episode. It was, it was good. There was uh, great topics. You contributed nicely, I thought. Um, good times. Th- that show is always a good time. I don't think there's a bad episode among them. Uh, well, yeah, but you you gotta you gotta find the edited version where I don't actually talk at all. It's way <laughs> better. It's way better, especially when they when they answer me. It's it's way better because they're just like, oh yeah, I miss. Uh, and they keep keep saying stuff, and I just never said anything. That's the better version. <laughs> gotta find that one. Hey, uh, what what? Uh, okay, so three words. Um, um is not one of them. Um is a word I'm not supposed to say. Because <laughs> Dave Jackson said um is bad. I, I, actually, what he said was saying um is um um bad. That's what he said. So, <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, is also not good either. Really? I, I <laughs> um hmm. I didn't know that. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so, what three words did you happen to hear? the night attack show from last week i did not so two two episodes ago i didn't so they played a game where bryce used the website what three words Mm -hmm. where uh, it's basically a mapping service where uh so, so the entire world is broken into a grid of what is it like one meter by one meter squares or three Mm -hmm. meter by three meter squares, something like that. And the, the grid, like every grid point is named. So it's like a, it's like a three, it's a three word. So three axes, it's a three word address, right? So there's, they've got a list of words. And then if you just basically put those words together, uh, you will find the location on, on the map that Mm -hmm. matches with that grid square. And so Bryce would so, so wait, for there was was this the first time you'd heard about this site? Yes. Okay. Yes. Th- this was actually a game that they played on TNT, I think, about f- f- five years ago. Okay. Yeah, and <laughs> I didn't realize. Yeah, I didn't realize what three words has been around that e- long. Each of the hosts, uh, they they just went ahead and said what their names were, and then people started to find out where they lived. <laughs> Like they oh <laughs> wow yeah that's not good <laughs> no so um, the game was Bryce would would say a a, a grid coordinate right mm-hmm. so like it'd be like night dot attack dot show mm-hmm. and they had to guess what country it was in mm-hmm. and uh, well it, it started with continent and then they would narrow it down et cetera right so it was, it was a pretty fun game it was funny because there was so many like basically night attack memes that were searchable. Mm -hmm. So I decided to to see if our show could be found. And almost the closest we could get is ritual.miserably.podcast. Hmm. And, and, uh, where, hmm. Where would, where would we want this to be? (laughs) Well, I was hoping, I was really hoping that it would be somewhere in either Alaska or New Mexico, but it (laughs) definitely, Definitely. Definitely was not. Uh, I mean, it's close to New Mexico uh, in in a lot of ways. Um, sure, probably in temperature. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, this is this is in Queensland, Australia. Like in the like, if you zoom all the way in on this coordinate and look at the satellite, like it's just it is out back. Like it is just <laughs> barren wasteland. Uh, oh, geez. Um, there's yeah. So there we are. There's a satellite version of it uh, on the video version of the show. And as we zoom in, there's some houses. There's there's some some okay. So it looks like Palmdale actually is <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't look unlike Alamogordo actually. Like there uh, there could be right. some Atari uh, Atari cartridges still buried there. That's all I'm saying. 
I'm not, I'm not ruling that, that out. I was thinking if we're going to be in Australia, we should at least be in Adelaide, uh, which is actually down here. But, oh well. Yeah, I, I thought that was neat, so I had to bring down it up. Down there on the old kangaroo island or something. Uh, we still don't have chat showing up on the screen, so i got to look way over here to see it. Uh, which the audio people are going to really appreciate with me turning my head and them not being able to know that I'm actually moving around. Um, Cabo says out with the Andy Donna bo- boys. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'm down. Tell Let's do it. We'll, we'll, meet, we'll meet you at ritual.miserably.podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We should go there someday. <laughs> just, uh, just, just to find out where Patreon. it is. Patreon.com slash ritual misery like really starts paying out that's 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 what we're gonna do we're gonna broadcast live from ritual.miserably.podcast <laughs> you know what kills me is the fact that podcast is in there but miserable isn't <laughs> right yeah there's podcasts there's podcasts with an s on the end yeah but there's yeah miserably oh not. jesus all right, um, so uh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't restart the uh, my audio recording, so this is going to be a fun episode to publish. Um, I think that's, that about wraps it up for the day, man. Uh, yeah, dude. That's uh, we, we had a, a, an intermission, an unplanned intermission. <laughs> that was, that so, was lots and lots of fun. So whenever there's a major interruption in the show, you're not supposed to call, call attention to it, and we've done nothing but call attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Jackson would hate this episode. Uh, <laughs> where can people find you at, man? Uh, check me out on Twitter at rm underscore del noche um pretty much del noche or del noche 77 everywhere else on the internet ah same here except for not del noche i'm ethan kane but same same game same year um <laughs> and you can find me speaking of ethan kane you can find me at, on twitter at ethan kane um really a lot of fun keeping up on my twitter lately it's not been a source of anxiety or miserableness or hatred or uh Discomfort with the Diamond Club hopes it's you have enjoyed sweet. this brawl. So you block like ninety nine percent of the people you follow. Uh, I just block one. <laughs> I just block one, and it makes Twitter worthwhile. Ah, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Strategic blocking. Yes, exactly. Uh, you can follow the show at Ritual Misery, and you can follow the uh, submit ideas on our subreddit ritualmisery.reddit.com. You can find all these links and more ways to support the show and give feedback at our website ritualmisery.com. We are live, uh, for the most part, except for when I'm knocking coffee cups over and my computer dies. Um, uh, yeah, we are live on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific, diamondclub.tv and twitch.com slash ritual misery. Thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music. Oh, it is actually cutting in. Thank goodness. Um, thank you for listening or watching. For Kent, for me, and for you, this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs>